You can come to me for honesty. Do you believe in love after love? I can feel something inside I'm saying. I really don't think strong enough. Oh. Um, but I understand why some people like the nice warmer weather, spring, you know, the renewal of life, the plants are blooming, which probably means I'm going to get allergies uh, sooner rather than later. Oh. <laughs> Within the next, you know, couple of months, now things will settle. I'll be, you know, my back taxes will be on payment plans and that I can afford. My future taxes I'll be paying on a monthly basis. Like I was supposed to be doing all along, but I couldn't do because I had so much unsecured debt in my name that I couldn't afford anything. Yeah, seven years of my life, I'm going to basically be very tight financially and there's nothing I can do about it. All right, it's better than being behind financially and not having, uh, not being able to afford anything. When I have information to give, I will. If, if I feel it is pertinent to the public to know it, there's a lot of information I'm not going to be, make pub be making public because it's none of anyone's business. What gout does is it causes these acid crystals to form in your joints. And therefore, where you're affected by gout basically becomes insanely swollen, insanely pink, like really, like the whole area of your body looks pink, like really, really discolored. And it hurts like fucking crazy. It's excruciating, constant pain. And there's really nothing you can do about it. You can take anti-inflammatories, but they don't necessarily solve the problem. They just alleviate some of the pressure so it feels slightly better. Um, when you get a serious, serious issue of a gout, like a gout flare-up, it could last upwards of two weeks, depending on how bad it is. Um, lucky for me, I've not had a major gout flare-up in years. Um, you know, Every once in a while, I'll wake up one day, oh man, my foot feels a little sore, and then it goes away. So that's not a big deal, because I've adjusted my lifestyle, my, my diet. Ah! Also, the Division Two is only $3 today. Will you be getting it? No, I played the Division 2 last year when it was free around E3, <clears throat> and my feelings were as follows. It's not a bad game. It's definitely an interesting team-based shooter, class-based, how each class gets special abilities or the like. If you're going to play this regularly with your friends, uh, it's a place to hang out and have social interaction with your buds while you're, you're killing things and, and obtaining objectives. Great. Delightful. But if... You're looking for like a hot new release or something that's like like notable. Nah. You know, I played it co-op with some people. I didn't have a bad time. But at the same time, I was like, meh. You know, if I had a group of friends who I want to do team up co-op with on a regular basis, maybe that's the game I would do it in. But, you know, it's nothing to write home about. Just like the first game, it's nothing to write home about. So would you agree that getting the coronavirus from biting off the head of bats is why Ozzy Osbourne is having health issues and canceling concerts? If actually coronavirus came from eating bats, you would think that Ozzy Osbourne would have gotten sick from it a long time ago. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I gotta wake up. Oh. Mature adults, so who's your oldest friend? Where did you meet them? Um, I don't really... All my friends from when I was younger, they, I haven't associated with them in years and years and years. Because when I became a YouTuber... I basically became someone who was so busy with his work that I didn't really, you know, maintain many of those old relationships, especially because most of those were based around competitive Street Fighter. Like, my friends were people who I'd known for, like, years playing competitive Street Fighter, and I didn't care about competitive Street Fighter anymore, and that was kind of the end of it, you know? So, I don't have any, like, long-time friends who I talk to who I've known for a million years or anything like that anymore. I just don't. It's like, every week, oh, do this, do this, do this. Well, what the fuck? I play two hours a week. Like... The game keeps throwing so much nonsense at me, you know, that I can't just focus on what I want to do and get it done. Instead, I got to bother with so much nonsense. Fuck it. Next game. Why don't I collect materials before a stream then or have mods help me? I don't have mods help me because my world is a single player world. No one else can join me in this world. Uh, I don't do it because guess what? I stream full time uh, six days a week. I don't have extra time where I sit around to play games. I'm serious. Like my, my life is very full. I wish I had more time to spend with my family. I don't. I'm in here streaming more often than not. I don't have extra time to sit around hours on end to gather resources. I just don't. You know, if, it, if I had a different life situation where I lived alone and I had no life obligations, I was just sitting around all day, then maybe I would grind off stream. I used to do that back in the day with a lot of other games that I played. Uh, I don't have that time anymore. All right. We're up to $8 of tips tonight, guys. Please, guys, if you want to help me out tonight, please tip me. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill. The internet bill. So yeah, guys, if you want to help me out tonight, please tip me right now. It's very slow, so please consider tipping me tonight. 
There is no top contributor of the night because we've got a tie. So we need to have someone, you know, break the tie to, to see what's going to happen here. Whee! Place a dirt block on top of the slab from the last perimeter of slabs. Complete the circle using slabs on three... S what? Huh? Because stupid people should be made fun of stupidly. Today, I don't think that I really go on many rants. And when I do go on a rant, it's usually something that I'm very educated about because it's something that I have firsthand experience and I know what I'm talking about. No lie. Boy, was I fucking stupid 10 years ago, you know? Look at the reach that content creators have. You know, you want to know what it really gets to me? Is now I see not only the mistakes that I made, but when people make the same mistakes I made today and I pay for it. So, for example, there's other content creators out there and they'll think it's funny to just out of nowhere take a jab at me. Now, I don't even know who these people are, right? I don't know who these content creators are, but they'll just bring me up in a negative light in their own content and they think it's funny. Oh, everyone takes a jab at Dark Side Phil. Then that day, my Twitter gets incredibly attacked by all their followers. Oh, fuck, that's a lot of zombies. My Twitter gets attacked by a ton of their followers all making fun of me. You know, my streams get bombarded with raids of assholes being negative and being really, really nasty to me. And I, I concretely pay. You know, people won't come up, check my content, talk. To, oh, it feels toxic because this guy made fun of him, blah, blah, blah. You know, so I have to live with the repercussions of the actions of that person who is irresponsible because they just wanted to get a laugh on stream, you know. And now I realize, damn, what you say and do can concretely negatively affect people in a big fucking way when you have a big following on, on the internet. And I didn't realize, I thought it was a joke. I did. And now I, um, they only show one side of me and completely ignore the full picture of who I am as a person and a content creator. So no, I wouldn't, here's why I wouldn't want to watch This Is How You Don't Play. Because number one, it's completely unfair to me. Number two, it would be giving popularity and attention to something that I feel that is not going to be beneficial whatsoever um it's not i don't want to give more attention to people who think that that's funny you know what i mean i'm a positive content creator i don't need to watch that shit all right guys so right now we still don't have a, a top contributor of the night we don't we have a tie and we have no one top contributor we have, i'm streaming for about 45 minutes more tonight fyi top contributor as you guys know gets to direct a future project so we're, we're actually going to start a little bit of work on PW Dub's project right after we, we tame this wool. So, <clears throat> so FYI, um, you know, time's starting to run out here. Please, guys, if you are going to contribute tonight, please tip me. So tonight has been incredibly slow for contributions, and tips help more than anything. And I need the help uh, coming up. I got to drop money tonight for a game, and later this week I got stuff I got to do. So, you know, please consider it if you can. No pressure. You don't have to. But if you were going to contribute and you were holding out and waiting for the end, see if you can be top contributor. Please tip me if you can, okay? <clears throat> oh, like I said, tips have been very slow. It's a Mex Mexican telenovela. Sigue así y te acabarán matando. Sigue así y te acabarán acabarán matando. The other, the other week or whatever, they were like, oh, Phil, when you contribute on your streams, is that a competition or not? I said, well, technically, no, it's not. But we have a leaderboard at the top of the screen where people compete. They like to get recognition. They want to be the top contributor. Maybe a certain stream, they get a reward for it. Like tonight on the Minecraft stream, top contributor gets something for actually being top contributor. In general, no, it's not a competition. That you, oh, my God, I want to be the, the biggest contributor no matter what. But people like the recognition. So in, is it really a competition? No. But do people compete for top spots to get recognition? Yes. Huh? 